Hey guys, welcome to the first lesson on data structures using C++. Today's lesson is going to be on Big O Notation. I want to try to keep this video as fast as possible, so I'm just going to be focusing on Big O Notation. The reason why I want to just focus on this and keep it short is because I want everyone to watch this because I'm going to be referencing Big O Notation for the rest of the videos in this series. Even besides that, Big O Notation is important to understand because it helps you build obviously better data structures, but it also has you, it lets you fully understand um, what's really going on. A couple things to note um, about this series, however, I'm going to be assuming that everyone watching these videos already know what pointers are. So I'm not going to be explaining pointers in this video or any video in these series. Um, I'm going to be making a video in my fundamentals um, C++ that will explain pointers eventually, but in this series I'm assuming everyone understands pointers. So let's, I just want to dive right into it and talk about big O notation. So, in the most simplest form, big O notation is a way that we can compare algorithms. So if I ask you the question, you know, if I have two functions and, and I want to compare them and say, which one is more efficient? Um, you know, you'd be thinking, okay, how can I do this? Well, one way you might think of is maybe timing them and timing saying, oh, this one's faster than this one. So that means it must be more efficient. And you could do that, but I don't want to do that. And the reason why I don't want to do that is because you know, depending on what machines you're on, hardware can change and, and things like that. And I just don't want to rely on the hardware. So a more universally accepted way of comparing things is this concept of big O notation. And big O notation is a way, like I said, to compare functions or algorithms and see which one is more efficient. Now, big O notation can get pretty complex, but I just want to touch the surface of it just so we have a basic understanding so that we can use it the rest of the videos. So there is a couple um, notations that we're going to be using and um, for the most part and when we get into like binary searches we'll see new ones there and things like that but um, for the most part we'll be using two of them that I'll always be saying. I'll be saying you know this function is big O of n or this function is big O of 1. And I'm going to explain what those both mean. So, big O of n. You can think of n as maybe the number of elements in this data structure or even the number of comparisons that we have to do. Now, when something is said to be big O of n, that means that that function varies on how many or like the the amount of times the function iterates and goes through it and runs is dependent on how many um, elements are inside of our data structure so um, if we had a hundred elements in our data structure a big O of n function is said to be that it will do um, it will do a hundred comparisons hypothetically um, at the most extreme case you can think of the n just being the amount of comparison so if, if the if the if the time or not, I don't know how can I explain this if the amount of iterations of a certain function or the amount of time it's spent on it changes depending on how many elements are inside your data structure then it's considered to be big O of n because it's changing on how many elements it has now I'll show you an example of this that will probably be easier to see because this is probably hard to understand how I'm saying it but I want to talk about big O of 1 really quickly. If I said a function was big O of 1, that just means that it's constant time. Meaning that the function will not change depending on how many more elements are in the data structure. So if there are 10 elements, it will run the same amount of time or the same amount of com or it will do the same amount of comparisons. Whereas if there were a hundred elements, it would still do the same amount of comparisons. So that's big O of one is constant time. So I'm going to show you examples of both and maybe that will help clear it up. So here's a little setup I have and I have a function big O of n. This is the notation that I'll be writing out. And this is my function that's big O of n. Now I'm going to explain why this is big O of n 
and how it works. Let me just give you a little a predefined what's going on. So I have a pointer to an integer right here, and I'm creating a dynamic array with that. And I have an integer array size that's just holding um, how big the array is. Now this is kind of getting into the next video, but a little bit, but it's that's okay. Um, when the program runs, I ask the user to enter how big they want the array to be, and then I size it. Obviously, I clear memory at the end. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Now, what I just want to point out is this big O of n function. Now, this is big O of n because of pretty much the, the comparisons right here. Because the amount of comparisons, because how a for loop works, it does a comparison after every iteration. So the amount of comparisons we have it depends on how big the array is or how many elements we have. So if we have 10 elements, then we'll do 10 comparisons. If we have 100 elements, we'll do 100 comparisons. So that's where this notation is coming for, big O of n, because the n changes depending on how many elements we have. So if I just told you that this L, if this function is big O of n, you'd be like, wow, okay, if I have a lot of elements, this is going to be running a lot, so I should be cautious about how this works. So that's what you should be thinking when I say something is big O of n. So this is big O of n, and if I run the function just to show it, display array, obviously it's not going to be too pretty, but we'll get the point across. If I type in 10 here, we can see that we'll get 10 output statements with some trash. But if I type in a hundred, now, oh, oh, come on, let's run that again. If I type in a hundred now, we get a hundred um, iterations. So you can see the function, the function's comparisons are changing depending on how many elements are in the array. So that's this is considered big O of n. Now, now I want to show you another function. This function. Oops. This function is considered big O of 1. Now, this function is considered big O of 1 because of how it's set up. Pretty much, it's insert in first slot. So, what I do is I insert a value that's passed into the first slot in this data structure or, or array. And all I'm doing is I'm saying first slot equals value. That's all it does. Depend it doesn't matter if I have 100 elements this will remain constant time it will always be one statement and then once it executes that it's over if i have a million elements it will not change the amount of time or the amount of comparisons that this um has to do so to show you how this works um i'm just gonna go insert in first slot um the value i should just do five thousand in the first slot and then i'll display them so let's go ahead and enter in. I want a hundred element array, and if we scroll up, we'll see that the first slot is five thousand. And no matter how many, like no matter what the size of this array is, if it's five, the the, the amount of comparisons that this big O one function has to do remains the same. So that's big O of n, and that's big O of one. And that, this is big O notation. Now, I want to be using this so much throughout all my videos. So, if you don't understand it now, it's okay. You'll see it more and more. But hopefully, this gave you a little glimpse of what the differences between big O and N and big O of 1 are and things like that. It will be a lot easier to see when we start getting into building um, abstract data types, which I'll talk about in the next video. Um, but... Um, yeah, for the most part, this is the basics of it. You can go more in detail with this, but this is all I want you guys to really understand right now. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the next video.